covering and sealing your sump basin is vital for any radon mitigation. It also provides added safety by preventing children or pets from falling into an uncovered sump basin. We can use a variety of covers for different situations. Some covers sit over the entire basin and can be secured to the surrounding concrete, such as dome or pedestal covers. We then have covers that sit on the inner lip that many sump basins have. These would include ABS covers with or without an inspection port. And for this demonstration, we're gonna use a Lexan cover. Lexan covers are a quarter inch thick, strong, durable, and transparent which makes it easy to see what's going on in your cover. They come in the following sizes. So purchase a size bigger than the circumference of your sump basin. You'll want to begin by cleaning the rim of your sump basin of any dirt or concrete. This will help the silicone to adhere well and to create an airtight seal. Measure both directions in case the basin is oblong. Then use a compass to map and cut out your cover. Before you seal your cover, it is important to perform some suction tests while you still have access to the drain tile that runs into the basin. You can do this by sticking the hose of a shop vac in the tile and using plastic bags to help seal it. This will allow you to see how far your suction is reaching across your basement slab. If you don't have a digital manometer, you can use one of our smoke pens instead. We are installing our pipe alongside the sump basin to make it easier if we need to install a sump pump in the future. However, there is also the option of installing the radon pipe on the cover, which would eliminate the need to drill a hole in your slab. This option is best for in-floor heating to prevent drilling into a line. So we drill out a four inch hole to connect to our suction pit. And then we install our floor piece. Here's the drain tile and here's the hole leading to our suction pit. After installing the rest of the mitigation system, we then install the Lexan cover we cut earlier for our sump basin. With a clean rim, we now add a bead of silicone. As you can hear, the fan is running and sucking air from the hole in the sump basin. Then unwrap the Lexan cover on both sides and install it. Now we caulk the pipe drawing from our suction pit. After installing our Lexan cover and caulking, we are now getting negative 38 on our digital manometer. Seeing this, we know the radon levels from this mitigation will come back well below four. And here's a picture of the finished mitigation. We always put the stock black cover back on top of the Lexan cover as added protection. If you need help finding the right cover for your situation or have any questions regarding radon mitigation, please feel free to reach out to us on our website for a free consultation. You can find the link in the description below. Thank you and have a good day.